Coming up on Down Under Eevee Adventures, we check out the bonnet on the Eto3. Welcome back everyone. So my wife the other day couldn't get the bonnet open on her Atto 3 and I thought maybe she's not the only one out there who thinks they might be going crazy when they try to click open. So let's have a look and see what's going on. So yeah, normally on most cars you just click this bonnet release. Now the bonnet release you can see it's just down here below this. I think that's a speaker. I'm not sure but it's basically just down below the air vents and everything normally you flick it once even though there's a little stick on there which is a giveaway and yeah my wife was saying it's not opening is there a latch see it doesn't open and she was looking everywhere for a latch can't the reason is is because you actually have to do it twice it does it does have a sticker on you can see the sticker says to do it twice so just like the other side of the car, the other end of the car, you've got to do it again. So I've closed it again, but here we go. One, two, and now you'll find, there we go. Okay, so lifting it up, there's no, there's no hydraulic struts on it, but you have got this little holder here, bonnet holder, which just Slips in there like that. Voila, you've got access to the inside. So there's your your holder there, the little yellow thing which you stick in there. And the only things you really need to, to look at are the washer fluid here. This one here is part of the cooling, I think it is. Now you can see there the minimum is the line is there and the maximum is up there so this is pretty much stayed like that I keep an eye on it and it's almost to maximum it doesn't seem to move I've checked in all sorts of weather but obviously if that gets low you might have issues but anyway you can have a look and you can see it's quite roomy I've taken my frunk out I'll show you the frunk in a minute but obviously that's the electric motor there and you've got your 12 volt battery here which has a cover on it to protect it and some other electrical stuff around here and then hopefully you'll never have to to worry about fixing anything in there being a bit more reliable than a than an ice car but I'll show you my frunk now it's a bit dirty because I took it out a few weeks ago it's just it's just been sitting there in my garage but anyway the good thing about these ones is they're, they're custom made by a guy in Perth I will put a link in the description if you happen to live in Western Australia but you can see they've got these little velcro tabs so there's one there and there's a couple here at the front now the great thing about it of course is being velcro there's no screws there's no bolts you just simply have to line up the velcro which is also on the other side of the frunk and there it just sits in nicely and you've got quite a bit of room as you can see I don't know why they didn't engineer a frunk they really should have for the Atto 3 maybe a future model will have one but if you wanted to put your cables in there for example or if you're traveling on a long trip and you want to store a few things it's ideal to use and while I'm here I might as well fill up my wiper washer reservoir there because Looks like it's getting low. All right, and when you're ready to close it, just take out the yellow thing again. Whack it there in the hole where it's supposed to be. Now you've got to drop it quite heavy because if you don't, it won't close properly. And there you have it. So yeah, don't forget, just pull it twice and don't just do it once like you do. I think every other car that I've owned, it's only been once. So I've got no idea why it's twice. It could be a safety thing, maybe. So who knows? But there you have it. So there you have it. You're not going crazy. If you only clicked it once, you've got to do it twice. All right, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. Take care on the roads and please support us if you haven't already by subscribing. 
Okay, bye for now and see you soon.